Okay, I will show you some CRUD operations we can do um, with Bunny RM. You can do a lot, but I'll show you a couple of them. So, first thing is deleting a user. So, add db session, uh, delete, define, dll user. This will accept the user's uh, entity and an ID. So, uh, I'll just start in a variable. So users dot select and this will accept a lambda function. So you call it user user dot id will be equal to id now you dot delete and this should delete a user by an id. So let me call it in our main Python. So import it here and call it and pass the user as a class and delete the user with an ID of 5. So let's just make sure that this one exists. So it's this one, Erin um, Phillips, I think. So let's run it and see. Now, refresh, check. I mean, sometimes they do, not, they do not show up, but yes. So the user with an ID of 5, this is just the raw number. I think the extension adds, adds that. So, yeah, so it in is not, does not exist anymore. It got deleted. But I think the posts for it did not get deleted. So let me show you. This is uh, something called cascading. So it should be the. Yeah. Uh, So it got deleted, which is no, I did not. It did. Okay, nice. It did. It did. Yeah. So he was. He had two posts. So by default, they add the the cascade for us, which is nice. I thought I need to do something about it. Cool. So on, ca on cascade delete. Yeah, nice. Uh, so this is how we can do delete. You can also do it create a. Uh, a bulk delete which means bulk means I think a large amount so you can delete uh, multiple users multiple records so I'll create a variable a function called delete users bulk so accept the users entity users will select I will pass around the function so the way you customize the select you will always uh, pass around the function this is how you customize it this is how you filter and a lot of things or only select a couple columns. Uh, always, always check the description. I will put some useful uh, links. So, if Gmail in user dot email or a hotmail in you dot email. If these are true, these two options or one of them, I will just delete and pass bulk to. I think this is like just to make sure that you really want to do this. Because I think in a real application, um, I think this is the most, uh, in my in my opinion, the most proper approach is uh, to not delete the user data. Don't delete anything, just mark it as deleted. This is called soft delete. Because at some point you will need it. And you will regret that you deleted some data. Uh, that's from an experience. You will always regret that. Because especially if your uh, publication grows and at some point you need to um, get some historical data or at least get what was uh, the shape or the structure of your application was in maybe the past two years. So it's always a good idea just to mark them as deleted and not, don't delete them. But, by the, but yeah, this is how we delete things and let me show you. So now we have a lot of users at the moment. We have 19 users. Check the. Uh, sorry, we have 19. Check this first column. This is the number. So delete users bulk, and I need to import this and pass the users class. Okay. Now let's go and check the users. So a lot of them should be removed now. So only the people that have Yahoo and their email exists. Uh, and it should be also their posts since the 
cascade works. Why? Yeah, okay, finally. So nice, and I think I can show you how we can update. Um, oh, by the way, before this, there's another way you can delete. So users and pass here the ID, which is very nice. Then do delete. You can also, this is a shortcut, I think, believe. I'm not sure what, what this uh, do behind the scenes. I mean, this is like the class, right? And you're passing uh, the ID to it. This is, uh, to be honest, I'm not quite sure what this means. I'm not that good at Python, but uh, it's really interesting to see how uh, classes behaves or how you can interact with them in Python. It's very similar to the way that, or the strange behavior, it's, it's not strange, to the way that JavaScript works. Um, I mean, you can, as, you can use it in different ways than the normal classes in other languages, which is very interesting. Um, yeah. So this is another way, let me show you the update. So it's very similar, let me, like this. I'll just copy paste. Uh, so update user, accepts the user's entity and ID and the name, this is the new name and you can just update it like this. So let me see what is a user, what user that I can update. Uh, not sure why it did do this. Should install the behavior. Okay, so the user for ID3, let me update it. So import it and let me uh, users class in the ID right. ID3 and the new name, my name, for what? db and now select so yeah it's updated so these are the basics i mean see you not that hard so yeah that's it